Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into one of the most popular JavaScript libraries for building user interface, React. In this video, we will provide an introduction to React and cover a range of essential topics that will set the stage of our React journey. Whether you are new to the React or looking to refresh your knowledge, this video is for you. So let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. All of the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and Cambridge science education. React. React is open source JavaScript library. So when we talk about library, library is a set of functions. Anybody who are a developer want to use can just need to uh, use that library and start React application. React is developed and released by Facebook. So React is not a framework. There is a difference in framework and JavaScript library. What is difference? If you say library, that is a function. When you talk about framework, it will guide the developer because it defines how developer design an application. So framework will give you all the tools and other library as well. Why should we learn React.js? So React.js is a declarative. Like, why do you say declarative? It's a high level language. So it's a very efficient and flexible JavaScript library for building user interface. It lets you compose complex UI from small and isolated pieces of code, what we called component. In JavaScript, we will call every class as a component and we will play within the component. So what is the feature of React? These are the features. To simply understand, there are some architecture which React follows. So one of the thing is component-based. Everything is component-based li library. And you can extend other library as well. Let's say there is another React 2 or React 5 or some other uh, library is existing. So you can use that library and use and pin build your application. React where it has been used. It has been used in many, many companies like Facebook, Instagram, Netflix, Code Academy, Reddit, all other. To understand React, we are, need to understand the syntax of the React. It is a little different because it uses JSX. React is extensible uh, to the JavaScript. It's nothing but a simple JavaScript. The syntax is a little bit HTML like syntax. So how we uh, assign a, a variable in JavaScript? We write var a equals to a number, right? So in the same way, if you want to assign uh, in JavaScript, you can do the same way. There is nothing change. But what if you want to assign HTML tag in that. So you need to write like this. As var greetings, let's say this is, I'm saying hello react. You create the tag, then you place value you want to show. That becomes your greeting. And you can use this greeting as your a return value and whenever wherever you place this gigging, this whole thing will be written. So this is one of the JSX thing. You cannot uh, execute this in JavaScript. That is the difference in JSX and JavaScript. You cannot execute this one. You will get error in this. You can see this error is this. This greeting you want to enable only certain condition. You can also do that with if condition. You want to greet that person, you will write true. And if you write if condition can greet if this is true, only then will be enabled. So greeting will be get added to this simple core condition. Let's see some more example. If you want to put that in a function or you can create like function and say greetings, greeting function like this and return tag end. So whenever this function is been called, this whole will be written. Two, three way to write a function. This is one way, simple way and traditional way. Another way is saying function then I'm adding here and returning this value this is model there's another way to write is with arrow so I will write greetings and I will add simple function without saying function so if something is you want to pass you can pass here you don't don't pass add arrow then start the function return the function this function has different meaning for total with a simple function what we write written in top only if you talk about this part, this is an add-on of a function. When, when this function is bind to some value, then that becomes a function. So itself, it is an anonymous. It doesn't have any name or any uh, anywhere it is until it is put to any other variable. So that's why it is anonymous function. And But it has called a function. That's why it will always be function and it will always return that. We understood how to find a uh, HTML tag. So same thing we can do with React also. If you want to create an element, what you will do, you will add div, right? Div tag. If will create your element. The same thing if you want to create, you will write this code. 
react dot create element this is div then you have a parameter it does it have any function call then this will create a div called internet will create this whole thing see this example this is a react do now, this is another class called react do react do is nothing but it calls document object model the react document object model is how you create your HTML tag or your web page that is there in the react do so this react and react do are the default library with the help of these two we are going to create our react application so understand this method render render means you are creating a, a uh, full html div div which consists some message and the document where you want to put that this message can be anything whatever the function the message you send that will be passed here and that will be tagged to this react app what is this react app this is nothing but a div tag having id so this is somewhere place in your html body so this is the template and this is your javascript code so both has to execute simultaneously so that this message will be set so let me give you more example around react render you will get a inside of every java jxs creating a time c time equals to i'm changing to time string c time will give me the today's time and i will use this react render function under that i will create my whole uh, diff tag means all my html tag and whatever whatever you want to write you want to create the template i'm going to create my template here so this is going to help me to create our full html web page itself so i will write div here p tag p close and if you want to say current time this is the expression this is the way to pass a variable your javascript data to html okay. so we understood how to write our expression let's talk about how to write same thing in attribute so if you have a p tag if you want to put so this will going to change my every time wherever uh, there is a red so what if you want want to change this red tag red or it can be blue or any other tag if you want to change this how you going to do that so in attribute we always use camel case this class uh, will be changed to class name then you write the saying the whatever the you have the style cc css style same thing we can achieve by writing dynamically you have to use curly braces inside that you can add a tile red equals to add this tag here so this is going to change every time whenever i change this value if it is going to blue it will change automatically so we understood we can write our expression in three ways either you write simple here in attribute level or expression with attribute why we are doing this because we are manipulating we are modifying the dom any event happen there is a concept called immutability what is immutability immutable if you say it, it can change the value in course of time so let's say you have a variable called player and this is a object i have a score saying name jeff it can happen that the value of this player score is getting changed how you, how you will change that score equals to 2 if you write the value will get updated fine now what if if i write a new player and i'm using a object dot assign method this object dot assign method is going to help me to create another object so this is kind of copying my object if you copy this player i'm going to copy this player and putting in new player value so this whole thing will be copied and when i'm copying i can also add another parameter called score score dot 2 so there is a difference in both condition so out let's see that difference the first example when we change the value right player the player's whole player has been changed because i have updated the particular property of that object but in the new when i assign means when i am copying that value but at the same time i am updating this means the new player value has score with number 2 so here you can see the player new player has changed with the player value but the original player value is is remain intact so this feature is called immutability what is called bind and apply say this uh, statement this is object i am uh, i having a value num 100 and if i want to create a add function which have which uh, whenever i 
pass some value it can be uh, one or two three value and i want to add to this num value every time so my value can be so let's say this is an add method and this much function has three parameter i'm returning what i'm returning i'm adding this num plus adding the three whatever value you're presenting so you can do the same function writing add function add like that that's it but in order to tell you the difference of these three are how to use that so if i write console log say uh, add dot call so this if i say call this also is calling this function so now you need to pass your value like this the you have to pass the value called this value so this is the first attribute or first parameter of your free value so if you don't pass because it has three parameter here you're writing three parameter so you have to pass the the first or the fourth uh, which is the, this parameter this will always the current param parent uh, scope so if i pass a when object and which have the value then this will execute the same way the function is called 106 it is adding the fourth value if you say apply it apply works with uh, array data so you need to pass you cannot pass as a uh, a multiple value you need to pass in a array value so this whole will be applied in that function so if you execute this will be also result 106 bind is add dot bind okay if you bind what you want to bind you want to bind the object first the value you want to bind then the function call if you add another function call now you pass the value so this becomes the binding of that function bind function creates a new bind function which wraps the original function of here we essentially creating a new function object which bonds to the object then we call the function along with our arm. same thing you can also do like this so i'm saying bound this is bound if i place this bound here and i'm using this function this becomes a function understanding the point if you execute this is also one zero six there you have it a comprehensive introduction to react we have covered the why and how of learning react explores its features and delves into jxx expression attribute immutability and context management now you are well prepared to begin your react journey if you found value in this video consider subscribing to support our channel group and don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend to our audience before you go i highly recommend checking out our next video you can find the link in the comment section below thanks for watching this video i am atindinath and you're being hanging out with bit science see you in the next exciting video